Hello guys, um, this is Xenia. This is not uh, an ASMR video as you can probably see um, and this is not uploaded to my channel. Uh, this is uploaded to Alisa's ASMR channel. Uh, it was her idea uh, to upload a video for me and it is one of the best things that she could do for me um, at this very difficult uh, period of mine. So thank you so much, Alisa. You're amazing. I love your channel. I love your content. You know that and you are an amazing human being. Um, so it is a little awkward uh, being here and talking normally. Uh, so uh, if you know me, you know that my channel does not exist anymore, at least for now. Uh, you may not know why, so I'm here to address what happened. I'm here to talk honestly, I'm here to talk about my mistakes and I'm here to talk about the whole situation with honesty. Um, first things first, I want to say uh, excuse me for my English because this is not ASMR, this is not a role play, but I have to say what happened uh, without a concept, without a scenario, so I'm here uh, with the situation. Uh, also, I want to say that I am going to be replying to this, uh, to your uh, comments here through my second profile, which is called Xenia Zen. I, and it is with a profile picture full of pink flowers and all these things. So this is me, Xenia Zen. Uh, third thing that I want to mention is that I'm so sorry because today I'm a little sick, but the messages are not gonna lie, hundreds. Like so many people uh, are worried about the channel, about me. Um, <clears throat> so this is my opportunity and my chance to talk in front of a huge audience because I lost mine uh, for now. I had almost 60,000 subscribers and on my Instagram I have only 3,000 out of the 60,000. So I do not have an audience anymore for now, which makes me very sad and very angry because I lost my job, I lost my hobby for now, I guess. So I'm here to talk about these things. Um, so I'm going to start um, by talking to you guys uh, about how all these things started. It started like two weeks ago. I received like um, an email for a sponsorship. So um, if you know me, you know that I've never done a sponsorship before. I'm not really into that because I do ASMR and appreciate ASMR as it is without breaks, without advertisements, without all these things. Um, but I also didn't have any good chance, like um, I never had a sponsorship of my taste, like everything was not for me. So I had never agreed to a sponsorship. Um, but. I'm going to be so honest with you and I'm going to say that uh, right now it is the first time in my life that I'm living on my own without my parents. I'm living with my boyfriend and economically it's very hard. Like these last two months are very, very bad for me economically. Um, so I had to do something like for some health reasons I needed more money because uh, I had to go to the doctor every two weeks I still do have to go but I can't like I lost my job for now so I had to do something to solve this problem the economic problem and I'm so I feel so bad for myself I feel ashamed of myself that I agreed to a sponsorship just for that, just for the money. Like, I'm honest, this is what I did. Um, so yeah, I received this um, in an email, a email, I cannot talk, an email uh, from a person named Anna. I'm sorry for the background noises. I hope that you cannot listen to them because I have a different mode, like a talking mode. 
Um, so yeah, I received an email from a person named Anna and she was like, hey, we have a company with some games and we need you to advertise our game for like one minute um, and you will get paid like a lot of money. It was a good amount of money for just 60 seconds. So I honestly, guys, do not remember the game's name. I truly don't. Uh, when I take my channel back, I'm going to talk about it in detail, but now I can't. So it was a game, like with the word away in it, if I remember correctly. But I'm so afraid to open the emails again and see the name. I don't want to do that. It is very stressful for me. So I didn't reply to her at first. I was with my boyfriend and I was like, you know, I'm a gamer, I love games, um, I play games like crazy. So it's something that if I like the game, I could do that. So I didn't reply to her, as I said, and I went to the Steam platform. So if you're a gamer or if you're into this, you know what Steam is. It is like a safe platform full of games. Uh, I think that there's no danger at all at this platform. Um, it is a very uh, safe platform for gaming. So I found this game uh, to the Steam, um, but it was only 40% of the game uploaded there. Like it was like a demo, like it was not the whole version of the game. But it was not just two minutes, it was 40% of the whole game. So it would be more than enough to... Um, play this version, the 40% version, for a 60 second advertisement, like it would be more than enough. I wouldn't need the whole game to advertise it for one minute, like 40% would be okay. So um, the game uh, was very good for me, like it was perfect. It was about a girl who uh, had lost her memories and you had to play to help her remember and recall her past. So it was good for me, no wars, no blood. I liked it. It was peaceful, nice for ASMR. So I liked it. I liked it a lot. So I emailed her back and I was like, hey, Anna, I'm down. I can do that. I like the game. I downloaded it through the Steam. Just hit me with more details so that I can see what I have to film, you know, if she wanted me to, uh, if she wanted me to say something specific for the game, some, some information, and then I would film the one minute advertisement. So this is where I lost it. She sent me an email and she was like, girl, um, I know that you found our game to the Steam platform, but the Steam platform has uh, only 40% of our whole game. And because we are professionals, uh, we need you to download the whole version through another site. So um, this is where I made the mistake. I needed so much money so much of the money, like I needed money, so um, I didn't think of the trap, I didn't think, like my my brain just completely stopped working um, and I agreed for some reason, like she was going to send me another private side of theirs so that I can download the whole version for some reason, because uh, like the 40% of the game didn't do for her like she wanted the whole version She wanted me to see the whole game for some reason so um, I talked about it with my boyfriend um, He had a lot of doubts like I hope that he would have stopped me but uh, He knew how much we needed the money because it was like I said a bad it's a very bad uh, economic uh, situation for, for me and for us. So he was like, okay, you can try it and we can see. So at first she sent me another gaming site, uh, which was like, it felt like a real one, like a good site. Um, so I tried to download the game there and of course I couldn't. 
my laptop just crashed and I have to mention that my laptop is a gaming laptop and it's very very good like it doesn't crash at all so it was a little weird but again my brain didn't work like it was definitely a freaking trap and I kept going and she was like okay Xenia I am going to send you more links and more links and more links and you have to download all of them so that you can load the game and for some reason I agreed like I'm not that stupid but I agreed because I needed um, an economic boost so um, she sent me the first links and the thing is that it was not a gaming platform it was like a blank page with a red button in the middle which was like download like the downloading button like it was not a gaming site it was not something colorful something nice something well made it was just a white page with a red button with the download word on like nothing else and for some reason i kept going and going and going and she uh, demand. She was demanding me to record the whole process, so that they can be sure that I'm downloading the links. And I kept going like I'm ridiculous. I kept going and downloading links, and of course my laptop was connected to my YouTube email, which is not public. You can't see it. The one that I had to my descriptions is another one. It's still mine. So. Um, yeah, I downloaded all of the links, I was recording the process, like everything was fine. Um, and when I was downloading the, the, the links, like no one was, ha nothing was happening, like completely nothing. Um, and I was sending the process again and again. And one day after two or three days, I was like, Anna, I'm done. It was like on the previous Saturday. I was like, I cannot going like that like i have to work i have to um going on with other things i cannot just keep on downloading stuff on my laptop so uh, i gave her two uh possibilities uh the one was to uh, play the game through the steam and the second one is just quit our cooperation like i wouldn't continue like uh, I was so tired of downloading shit to my laptop. And she sent me the last email that I received from her. And it was a last link. She was like, okay, Xenia, we found the one. Uh, this is the one that will work, I swear, and all these things. And in the last sentence, it was like, if this link does not work, which there are no um, chances, uh, you will do it through the stream. So I was like, okay, Xenia, it's the last link, let's do it. I downloaded the last link and nothing happened again. I sent it to her and I didn't receive an answer. Uh, so after two hours, I wanted to, to open my laptop so that I can check my YouTube statistics. So I opened my laptop and I was signed off, signed off my profile, my channel my email, everything. I was signed off. Uh, at first I was like, okay, maybe an update. When, like, maybe it's an update, maybe it's something else, maybe just crashed. So I typed like my email once again, my channel's email, and it completely froze. Um, after that, after I typed my email, uh, like a box appeared with a message that the person who is signed in uh, this email address does not uh, leave anyone else enter. So I did not even have the chance to type my password. Like I typed my email and then this appeared. Like I couldn't do anything. The email was frozen. I, I lost it completely. I was with my boyfriend but he was getting ready to go to work um so i was in a panic i was like what happened like is it the sponsorship is it a hack it, it just it 
that did it just got stuck i don't know what happened um my channel was still there my name was there my videos were, were there like everything was fine like completely fine um i was trying to communicate with some people who may knew what happened but no one really knew what happened because i hadn't tell what i did to no one like i was feeling so ashamed i was so sure that this was the thing that did this to my channel so um after two or three hours the channel's name changed to x news people started unsubscribing like crazy like i lost maybe four thousand subscribers but that's the last like i don't care about it um people got scared and this is what i would have done if i were them so they started unsubscribing my my videos turned to private thank god they didn't get deleted like they're still there but they're private um and this stupid guy started uh, going live with bots and fake stuff so that he can raise money i guess i mean i don't know why he did that um and this is where i lost it my boyfriend uh went to work and i was home alone losing my job, losing my audience, losing my community and my parents are on vacation with my brother. Of course, uh, I stayed with my boyfriend here because he's working and here I have no one, like no one. I'm on my own. Um, so there is where I got my first panic attack after a lot of months. Like I started crying, I couldn't breathe and just I just lied on the floor um thank god my my boyfriend works on a coffee shop and i know the boss i know everybody there so i could just go and sit there with him um but i was in a panic attack so i i felt like i was gonna die um so i was wearing my pajamas like now like a, a freaking t-shirt and like pants and I went out and I was running in the street. I don't know, I had completely lost it. I was running and crying and screaming on the, on the street and people were staring at me, but no one really helped me, but that's fine. Um, they may got scared. So I arrived there to my boyfriend. We sat together. I called my mom, I called my dad, I called my brother, I called everybody. Uh, my mom really helped me to relax. Uh, I love her so much. She was like, okay, uh, you may, we may be in a very bad economic situation, but at least you do not have a family to raise right now. Like, you see how the trap is. So now you're going to start again. And the next time that you're going to have responsibilities, family, you're going to be older, um, you're not going to be trapped again like that. And I got relaxed in a way. Um, so this is what happened, pretty much. I think that I made the mistake. Like, of course, they are some bad guys, like so bad guys. But I was so full. Like, I feel so full that I believed that this could work. Like, this, this was not a sponsorship, of course. I got hacked. I was hacked. So yeah, this is what happened. Um, it was very difficult for me to handle. Like these days were the most anxious uh, of my entire life. I was crying all day long. I couldn't sleep. Um, I was receiving hundreds and hundreds of messages. And this made me so anxious for some reason. Like I replied to 10% of the whole messages. Like I do not have the strength to say that I was hacked. I can't do that. Like, I'm not even on social media right now. I'm uploading, like, a story every... I don't know. Um, I'm staying away of these things right now till this whole thing is solved because I can't. Like, I can't. I feel so bad. So ashamed. So sad. Um, I'm sitting down all these days and thinking why is there so much evil in the world like so many bad people wanting to hurt someone to steal from someone like i worked for this like it may was one year 
but it was one year of, su of success because it's 60,000 subscribers in a year with over 100 uh, videos publicly and over 50 or 60 uh, videos privately for my customs. All of these things have completely disappeared, of course, because my channel has like turned off for now. Um, and this is what makes me cry. I do not want to cry this video. I'm trying so hard. This is what makes me cry every day that there's somebody out there who stole my job. It stole my work. Like these videos are me. It's my talent, my hobby, my life, people that I love, people that love me, community, a whole community. They just took it from me because, okay, I was foolish, but they just took it for me like um, I feel so sorry for these people I feel so sorry I don't know how their parents raised them like I have no enemies I wouldn't hurt no one in the world like there are so many people that I know that la laughed at me that talk shit about me uh, I don't know that talk bad about me talk behind my back like I know so many people like personally who did that and I do not hate them. I wouldn't hurt them. I wouldn't do anything bad for them, for no one. Like, I want to love the world. I want to raise my children in the future in a beautiful world full of colors and happiness. Um, but all I can see is evil. And I feel so bad for that. I wouldn't do that, like, never. This is my work, this is my job. Okay, so um, something good happened. So now, right now, it's the 8th of August that I'm filming. Uh, something good happened like five days ago. Um, I received an email um, that I could see that my channel was uh, gone like it was deleted and it may sound like bad news but it's good news because YouTube noticed that my channel was hacked so it completely kicked out these these guys whatever it completely so YouTube noticed these live streams the fake live streams and the hack so they kicked them out so right now um, this email is no under control of no one and that's good because no one is in my staff anymore they have completely left like right now I'm not hacked I'm not hacked uh, but the channel is locked so what I had to do is communicate with uh, someone who had over 100,000 subscribers because only them uh, only they have access to YouTube support so I didn't have uh, access to YouTube support, uh, which means that I could not talk with somebody uh, from the YouTube assistants because uh, I had only 60,000 and not 100,000 subscribers. So I had to search for someone with over 100,000 subscribers so that he could talk to YouTube support about me. Um, and so then YouTube support could email me back and talk about the issue and solve it. So I'm in a good way right now. I found someone, an amazing um, Greek uh, YouTuber, not an ASM artist. Um, I found actually a lot of them, a lot of them helped me. But this uh, guy helped me to send a message to YouTube. So YouTube emailed me like three days ago and we're trying to solve it. So I think that I'm in a good way. I think that I'm gonna take it back the soonest. The good news is that no one's in my account anymore. Um, I have my Instagram, my Iphigenia's Instagram and my Xenia's Instagram. Everything will be down in the description. If you want to follow me, if you want to communicate with me during this hard time, if you want to help me out, everything is down in the description so you can go and follow me. Because this is the only way to communicate with you guys till I have my community back. Which hurts me so much. But what can we do right now? Nothing. Just we have to be patient and see the bright side. Uh, I want you guys to know that if 
I don't get my channel back like in the worst situation which I think it won't happen like everyone that has been the same uh, situation there's a lot of youtubers who have been in the same thing um, a lot of them have been trapped because they needed money they needed to do a sponsorship um, anything that they could have done uh, everybody that I know have taken back their channels so I think that I will take it back maybe this week, maybe next week. I think I'm gonna be back. If not, I want you guys to know that I am making a new channel. I, I, I will never leave ASMR and YouTube. Okay, it may take long um, and that hurts me because this was my job. And except for the fact that it was my job, I had so many people following me and loving me. And of course, not all of them will be back. Some of them will forget about me. Some of them will not find me. So this is something that hurts. But I am fighting. I'm, I'm like, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling so relaxed. Uh, so much better than I was. Like I was crying all day long. I couldn't turn on a camera and talk. Now I'm a little sick, but I feel good. Like I can see the bright side. I can see that no one's in uh, my email. That okay, it's locked, but at least no one's in. Like uh, at least my channel is temporarily deleted. Um, so yeah, I feel more safe now. I feel better. Um, I want you to know that there is no. That, that, that there's sadly no way for you to help to YouTube, to the YouTube thing, like sadly you cannot do something about it. I am the one who has to fight it. Um, but of course, if you want to help me economically or, psych or like if you want to talk to me and send me a message, you're free to do that, okay? And it's a huge honor for me and I appreciate it so much because this is like the hardest period of my life. I want to say a huge thank you to Alisa. Alisa, you're an amazing human being with a warm heart. Um, if, if, if it wasn't you, like, I would never have the chance to talk to a huge audience. I feel like we have the same community because a lot of my people found, uh, found me from you and I'm truly inspired by you. So I think that a lot of my community is here and watching this guys i love you so much i couldn't be more honest i love you and i miss you i miss you so much i want to get back like i cannot forget the feeling when i was uploading a video and i was receiving hundreds and hundreds of comments and i didn't have the time like to hurt all of them and like them and i want that back um I want that back. I really miss that already. But I'm trying to have fun right now. Um, if Alisa wants to, uh, we can make an ASMR video even right now that I do not have my channel so that you can have something uh, ASMR-ish from me. Because I know that you don't if you haven't um, downloaded a video from me. And that's another huge mistake that I realized that I've made. I haven't saved my videos, like I have two or three, but not all of them. Like all of them, public and uh, private, are uh, not in my PC, are not saved nowhere. And that's a huge mistake, which I'm not going to do again. Um, so I want you guys to take care. Even if you are, m my advice is that if you need something, money, support, people around you, friends, relationships, anything that you may want, please be patient um, and do not rush. Because I rushed and I feel like I lost everything. Um, so this is my advice. I love you so much. Like I talked a lot, like I can see 30 minutes up there. Um, so yeah. Uh, I am going to be replying to you. This is not a fake account. I will try to put my own face like on the profile picture. But for now I have flowers, like colorful flowers, but especially pink ones. 
and my profile is named Xenia Zen. You do not have to subscribe to this profile. I am not going to be uploading videos there. If I'll make a new account, I'll let you know. So I love you, I miss you, and thank you for everything because you mean the world to me. Bye.